<laughs> How droll. How very droll. Oh, hello. Welcome to my very first live video on Facebook, Operation Escargot. Today, we're going to meet my belle maman, Elizabeth, and we're going to talk all about snails. We're going to do a demonstration on how to prepare escargot French style. But before getting started, I want to read a little passage from my book, Let Them Eat Pancakes, which talks about how I first met Elizabeth. Okay, here we go. It's two minutes, not too long. Chapter 14, Operation Escargot. Mothers-in-law get a bad rap. It doesn't help that we call them mothers-in-law, as if we're forced by a judge to accept them into the family. Compare this, this to the French version. Belle maman, beautiful mama. Honestly, which one would you rather have? I first met my belle maman long before she was officially my mother-in-law, just my boyfriend's mom. I'd been going out with Julian for only a few months when, unable to resist my rugged American charm, he made his Déclaration d'Amour in a Sri Lankan restaurant near the Gare de Noa, professing his love over palak paneer and a delicious barata cheese set. I can't wait for you to meet Elizabeth, Julian said as he smiled and held my hand. Ever since I'd known him, Julian always referred to his mom by her first name. Apparently, when he was just nine years old, he decided one afternoon, and for no particular reason, that he would no longer refer to his mom as his mère, but his père, or peer, in French. It was odd to hear, and a little unsettling. My dad, Fast Eddie, used to call his mom by her first name, too, and in the same deep voice as Julian. It won't be long before they're putting you in a box, Lizzie, Fast Eddie would say to my grandmother every year on her birthday. Just letting you know right now, I'm not going to your funeral. I hate those damn things. Oh, I don't blame you, Eddie, my grandma Lizzie would say in the sweetest voice ever. I'd skip my funeral, too, if I could. Ironically, Fast Eddie got his wish. He didn't have to attend my grandma's funeral after all, since she ended up outliving him by nearly seven years. Back in the Sri Lankan restaurant, I smiled at Julian. I can't wait to meet your mom. I mean, Elizabeth, too, I said, suddenly feeling a little anxious. Have you, um, come out to her yet? Oh, yeah, years ago, with my first boyfriend. In fact, she's Facebook friends with all my exes. All his exes? Geez, how many did he have? I barely had the good fortune of having one. In any case, I was relieved to hear that Elizabeth was so open-minded. When it came to my own family, I dreaded the day when I would have to tell them about Julianne. That is, if we actually ended up staying together long enough. Back then, I was so fatalistic, I was convinced that it was just a matter of time before Julianne wised up and dumped me. If that does happen, I tried to comfort myself. At least his mom and I can still be Facebook friends. Well, of course, it has a happy ending. We are much more than Facebook friends, Elizabeth and I. She is my mother-in-law. And right now we're going to meet the star of tonight's show, Elizabeth, where she's going to show us her demonstration. Come on into our kitchen, our brand new kitchen, after renovations, eight months here in Paris. Bonsoir, Elizabeth. Bonsoir, ma maman. Bonsoir, Craig. Comment ça va? How are you? Ça va très bien. Écoute, quand on est devant une table, ça va toujours très bien. When we're in front of a dinner table, it always is going well. Well, great. So we're going to get to the, the, the subject of tonight. Now, first I'm going to ask the questions in French and then translate in English and, and then translate her answer. Okay. Uh, C'était quand la première fois que tu as ramassé des escargots? Escargo. When was the first time you hunted down snails? C'était en Bourgogne. J'avais 14 ans et j'étais accompagnée de mon papa. She was 14 years old. It was in Burgundy and she was accompanied by her father. Il y avait eu un orage, beaucoup de pluie. Donc mon père m'a dit les escargots, les escargots sont sortis, il faut y aller. Oh. It was right after a rainstorm, a big heavy rainstorm in Burgundy, and her father turned to her and said, "Let's go, it's time to get them now." So they went out. Et en effet, ils étaient au rendez-vous. On a fait une très belle récolte. And they were there ready for the rendezvous because they did an amazing récolte, as we say, a gathering of the snails. Um, donc où trouvent les escargots? Where do we find the snails? Les escargots de Bourgogne se ramassent en Bourgogne dans les vignes et dans les chemins de vignes. In Burgundy, the Burgundy snails are found on the vines of the vineyard, which is, uh, if you, those of you who love wine, Burgundy uh, is it, where she grew up on the Grand Route de Vin, which is where some of the best Burgundy wines in the world are, and that was uh, where she found these snails in that area. Great. Now, 
qui t'a appris comment préparer? Who ah. taught you how to prepare snails? Chez nous, c'est de génération en génération. For us, it's generation from generation. Ta, ton père, ton mère, ton mère. Ma grand-mère, mon père et moi qui voulais aussi apprendre. <laughs> from her grandmother to her father to her, the recipe, la, la recette secrète était passed on. The re secret recipe passed on from generation to generation. And she was excited. Excited to, pass it, to do it, to bring it to us now tonight. Okay, donc, um, so but first, before we get to that, I just want to make one little mention in here because now they've, after they've caught the snails, right, they're still alive, now they got to get them ready to be brought to the kitchen. It's a six step process which I outline in the book here Let Them Eat Pancakes. Um, each step that you go from taking the snails to preparing them in a bouillon and all this before they're ready now to actually be cooked. It's a very gruesome process, quite uh, as bad as foie gras, but those of you who love foie gras and love snails, you know, you just have to do it. You have to eat it. So why not? So here we go. So let's do the demonstration right now. First, explain to me what each of these items are. Voilà pour la démonstration. Tu vas nous expliquer oui. chaque euh, voilà. ingrédient. Alors, sur la table, vous avez déjà les coquilles d'escargot de Bourgogne. Now here, of course, is the, the, the snail escargot shell, which when she goes hunting, which I learned uh, from snails, what, what, she picks the best ones and the prettiest ones and saves them for the, for the evening like tonight. Voilà, next, ensuite. L'escargot qui a été nettoyé et cuit au courbouillon. So here they were, they were cleaned, like I said, part of the six step process. They were cooked in a bouillon until they're ready now to be prepared. À la prochaine, uh, the next Alors, one. L'assaisonnement qui est donc persil haché, ail haché. So here's the chopped parsley with garlic, which is ready to go. And then we skip it step for time's sake. And next, voilà. voilà. Et <laughs> cette, cette préparation se mélange au beurre qui fait notre beurre aillé et persil. And so what we do, she does is add all these ingredients into the butter to make the garlic butter with parsley. Great, wonderful. Now that we have all the ingredients, what happens next? Après ensuite, qu'est-ce qu'on fait alors, avec tous les ensuite, ingrédients? Alors, avec tout cela, donc, la coquille, un escargot que je loge dans la coquille. So she puts the snail into it and face it towards the camera. Bien that profondément. Head. And she gets that little part that looks almost like a tongue to stick out before the next step. C'est bon, génial? Mm -hmm. they're oui. taking all the pictures Alors, here. Alors, l'escargot, yes. je le mets bien au fond de la coquille. So comme way ça, into the back of the, voilà. of the shell. And je then... pourrais mettre beaucoup de beurre. Mm. So, listen to that. Allez, beaucoup persigné. de beurre. Can you voilà. repeat that again? Beaucoup de beurre. Beaucoup de beurre. Voilà. I love voilà. those R's, the French R's. Now, of course, I ask her, I always put extra butter because, hello, it's butter. Mm. Okay, next, let's do one more Et just to see for those who want to see again. Find voilà. your, your snails. Put it in deeply in with a little bit of tongue sticking out. Mm. Now the butter, garlic butter and parsley. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hungry now, please. Thank God I'm drooling off camera. <laughs> all right, here we go, one last one. I hope you're all getting hungry back home too because uh, as soon as we say cut, we're gonna chop and eat. <laughs> Voila. Okay, now the perfect. So, so let's put it back on, on va mettre sur le plateau. Mm -hmm. Est-ce que tu veux en préparer un, Craig? Ouais, okay. Allez, voilà, vas-y. Boy, this is so easy, even I can do it, for all those of you who know me here. Here, let me, if I do this right, oops, right away I say I'm getting off to a bad start. Okay, let's, how did I get this one? Okay, there we go. I think I got the tongue out, c'est bon comme ça? Voilà, très bien. Okay, voilà. there we go, and a comme nice ça, big healthy bit of butter. butter. De I want beaucoup, maybe even more than what she put if I can, if there's a way to stuff it. <laughs> really in there as much as I can. Well, it's not as pretty as hers, but what do you expect? Here we go. This is Belle Maman <laughs> watching here. Oh, oui, 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 oui. Voilà. Oh, oui, 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 oui. <laughs> She's too nice. So now look at the plateau. Oh, oui, oui, oui. Now, just with a little TV magic, with a little video magic, uh, this is what she would prepare to bring into the oven. Now, what temperature? Quelle temperature? Say the, the four. What temperature Alors, is the oven at? Four à 180 degrees. So it's at 180 degrees Celsius, and for all those countries out there who will still use Fahrenheit, America, it's about 360, Julianne? 350, 350 degrees Fahrenheit degrees, degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. All right, so now with the magic of video, we have one that's already been cooking. So it's a peu chaud, it's very, very hot, so fais attention. Voilà. Very, very, very hot. Oh, now we're ready for the taste testing, voilà. my favorite part. 
Okay, well, first, before we get to that, because we have to tease everyone a little bit, what wine do you recommend? Quel vin tu conseilles pour les escargots, pour accompagner? Pour accompagner les escargots, un vin de Bourgogne, évidemment. Un vin de Bourgogne, un chardonnay. So a nice white chardonnay. Voilà. Goes well, a burgundy one with burgundy snails only makes sense. Avec une petite pointe d'acidité et des arômes très floraux, très agréables. So with a little uh, acidity, a point of acidity, with uh, fruit, c'est ça, fruité. Voilà, et, et de fleurs. De fleurs. And de aroma, fleurs. flower, mm -hmm. floral aroma. So. Et ça va très bien avec le beurre aillé et persillé. Ça fait okay. un très bel ensemble. So it goes very well, to, it pairs very well with the garlic butter and, and garlic, uh, parsley snails. So now, my, favorite, my next favorite part besides eating is using these cool tools, which are specially made in France for snails. Now, of course, now that it's so hot, this is called the pince, n'est-ce pas? C'est le pince. Oui, la pince, parce la que pince, les pardon, la pince, la pardon, pince. pince. La pince, voilà. masculine, feminine, I always get you. Parce que les escargots sont chauds. Because the snails are so hot, you don't want to grab them with your hands because you could burn yourself. So, let's try maybe Attends. another one. Je peux essayer un autre. Mm -hmm. Voilà. They're usually designed to just fit right in there. Let's see what happens next. She's going to have it. Et voilà, this is... Ouvrez un petit peu plus, voilà. Whoa, there we go. Prêt à la dégustation. Prêt à la dégustation. Moi, I'm going to... C'est moi qui fais l'honneur. Voilà. So, me do the honors. So, can you see that butter in there? Oh my God, I see some leftover on oui. the other plate, which I'm going to have to go back and get with some bread afterwards. The first thing I do is get it out of its shell. Come on, baby, you can come out. I know you don't want to, but here we go. Yes. All right, look at that. Ooh, can you see the pieces of garlic there and the butter mixed with the parsley? Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh, all right, everyone, here we go at uh, home. This mm, mm. Just juicy, what a delicacy, what a delicious, delicious little mollusk this is. Now here's my favorite, favorite part, even more than that, is trompé beurre, right, everyone? Voilà. Dip your baguette, your bread, in the butter, garlic butter, voilà. that makes it all worth it. Alors, voilà. en Bourgogne également, mm -hmm. on se sert de la pince mm -hmm. où on prend l'escargot par sa coquille. Mm -hmm. Voilà. C'est ton tour. So C'est ton tour sors le, Je sors le muscle. Voilà. So she takes out the mollusk, <laughs> takes voilà. out the, uh, the snail itself. Now that it's chilled a little bit, she's using mm. her hands. And there you go, see, dumping out the garlic butter. Voilà. Wow, and what I do sometimes even is probably... Attends, attends blanc bourgogne, tu peux, voilà, les dégusser comme ça, sans la pince. Okay, when you're in here, the privacy of your own home, of course, you know, you can get away with a lot more than a restaurant. You can just use your fingers, of course, and do what you want. I do some things, which is probably a little faux pas. I like to stuff the bread right in there, get as much garlic butter as I can, because I do not like to taste any of it. And I might even look inside the shell. I'm going to do that for you now because I want to save you all that, but believe me, it's worth it. Mm. So, what happens next, Julia? What's happening next? Well, um, you're going to join us and do what? Um, am I going to open the wine? No. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to open the wine, by oh, the way? There you go, Julia has her priorities, which I love, but we're all going to eat all the snails that we prepared. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Julian tells funny stories about when he was a kid and he'd be at a wedding and he'd be at the kids' table and the kids were getting a little rowdy. One way to calm them down was to bring over a whole tray of escargot and then the kids would get all excited and num, 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 and calm down and just eat their snails. For 50 minutes until you hear, is there more? <laughs> encore. <laughs> yeah, encore, encore. They want more and more, which... Sounds like, kind of sounds like me. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I want more, I want more. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining our first ever Facebook live presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. Uh, as Julia Child would love to say, Julia Child, tout bien. Mm -hmm. Bon appétit! Bon appétit! Enjoy. Julia and Wei from the inside. Uh, and now before we go, we'll show you one last beautiful view of Paris as the sun starts to set here tonight. These are the rooftops of Paris from our beautiful apartment in the Marais. Thank you, everyone. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Au revoir.